Hi YouTube! I know it's been so long since I've made a video to you guys, but I just wanted to nail one out and let you know how I'm doing. Um, also let you know how the tweeds are doing. Um, it's been about, I want to say almost a month since I made my last video. I was 27 weeks and I'm now almost 31 weeks. So at least I will be on Wednesday. So um, I am doing somewhat well. I'm getting huge, so I'm getting very tired very quickly. Um, both of the girls, we had an ultrasound last week, and one uh, baby A is 3 pounds, and uh, baby B is 3.5 pounds. So they're growing quite well. I'm carrying 6 pounds worth of baby. <laughs> um, I'm hoping to carry as long as I can. Um, I have had quite um, a bit of activity as far as Braxton Hicks go. Um, that's just part of the ball game from what I understand, and I, I experienced it with my two previous births. Um, I have a doctor's appointment on Tuesday, so I may post another video depending on what they tell me. Um, I'm hoping to get an exact date for uh, this C-section um, because both of the girls were head up. Um, at last week's ultrasound, so unfortunately that is a no-go on a vaginal birth if they continue that um, positioning. Now if one of them turns, I could possibly still do a vaginal birth. My doctor said that she would let me go after 34 weeks um, to have a vaginal birth if I go into labor by myself. Um, otherwise, I had a period of throw up today which really stunk but um, otherwise I haven't really had any issues with like morning sickness or heartburn or anything like that. Um, I am feeling very tight in my tummy area but that's normal as well. Um, sleep deprived, that's back again. Um, I'm waking up probably every three hours to go to the restroom which could be a lot worse. Uh, but I do get enough sleep, so it, it, it works out that well. Um, otherwise, I, I've only gained to date, I've only gained 25 pounds. And it, it's been quite a surprise to me because I thought I was going to gain a lot more. But um, I'm, I'm having a very difficult time s sustaining a, a weight. Um, I started off, like I said, at, at 182 um, dropped to 175 and then I'm now at 204 so um, it's quite amazing that I haven't gained any more than that so let me show you guys a quick belly shot uh, and then uh, I'll just go from there so it's gonna kinda be a little bit bigger but um, from the side you can kinda see like how big I've actually gotten it's it's really round and like I said I haven't gotten any you know stretch marks which has been nice I have lost my belly button um, but otherwise everything is looking very well um, I have started leaking from my top area uh, which is new for me because I didn't with my previous um, children um, and Linda and Philip have come up with a name for one of the babies. They want to, they want to name her Clara, um, which is quite a common name, I guess, in Sweden. So, and I'm sorry for my kids, guys, in the background. <laughs> guys, be quiet. Sorry, um, but otherwise, I am in con consistent contact with Linda and Philip. Um, they're so excited that we've made it this far, and. Linda is, is really starting to relax, um, you know, now that we've been able to get past, you know, this, this land, this, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't really know, but anyway, uh, I am not going to breastfeed. I think I probably already told you guys that as well. I am going to pump, uh, for the babies for the first week or two. Um, because they're going to stay here. Um, as long as, as far as the legal process, um, we've pretty much got most of the uh, post birth orders, which says that Linda and Philip, you know, I'm going to sign over my rights. Um, but it is Linda and Philip's biological, full biological children. So um, 
the state of Arizona's laws are kind of a little different. Um, we may need to go to court um, just so I can sign over and, and say I'm, you know, giving up my rights, which I, I don't feel is right because I, I never had rights in the first place because they're not mine. But that's not the way thing, you know, the law looks at it. I've carried them and so they don't really recognize the biological factor, I guess. Um, but otherwise, it's bittersweet knowing that my journey is coming to an end so soon. Um, I have made a, a couple things for the babies. I made a scrapbook uh, for them, which is going to look backwards. But um, basically, I wrote this story of you know how we did things and... Um, their very first ultrasound, just two little sacks, and that was back in uh, May 11th. I, I just can't believe how fast things are going. It's basically just all ultrasounds, you know, um, of how they've been growing little feet. Um, and I, I've left a couple of blank pages, you know, so that Linda and Philip, I'm hoping to kind of fill it up before then. Um, and I'm also making a blanket, a crochet blanket with these colors. Um, so that's coming along quite nicely. Um, but I do Skype with them uh, once a week, and I, I email back and forth at least three or four times a week. So um, I, I'm, I love them to death. The, the relationship that has grown between us is absolutely unexplainable and definitely was not prepared to... Uh, bond so quickly with with two you know beautiful people um, and you know I've, I've managed to keep a distance um, as well with me and the tweeds um, it, it's a mental thing that you have to keep you know you have to consistently keep reminding yourself that you're doing such a beautiful thing for somebody and that in the end when you get to see their face, I am so excited that I think that that's going to be my biggest payoff um, is watching Linda and Philip be able to hold their baby girls for the first time. In fact, it almost brings tears to my eyes because um, it's just it's something that I cannot wait to see. So um, anyway, all selfishness aside, that's that's really what I'm looking forward to. Um, well, thank you guys so much for, for watching and, and for watching my journey and going through it with me. And it's really meant a lot to me, all of the support that I've had from Circle and from you guys and, and just people that are watching and, and well wishing me, um, as well as any of my surrogate, um, sisters, I guess you could call them that are going through this. Uh, there is, um, a couple that have just started their journey and, I'm so excited for them. It's such a wonderful thing to do in life. So thank you all for everything that you do. Okay? Well, I'm going to close out. Uh, I will talk to you guys later. And uh, you all have a nice night. Bye.